Hey everyone, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills episode left me speechless last night. I am beyond disgusted with those gang of bullies that call themselves friends and housewives. Diana's behavior was deplorable last night. I'm tired of all of these reasons, these old reasons that they hate Sutton so much. Every single week, this woman is under attack from one of them women. Bravo. Y'all have to really, really stop playing around with this cast. I'm saying right now, if y'all do not remove minimum two, if not three, of that gang of bullies, I'm definitely done with Housewives of Beverly Hills. I will not watch a new season of Housewives of Beverly Hills if you guys do not get rid of Lisa Renna, Erica Jane, and Diana. And uh, Kyle, what am I talking about? Kyle, some somebody got to go. These, it's a couple of them got to go. So this woman right here, this is the perfect photo because this is it. She's calling Sutton a snake. She's slithery. Is that exact? Is that what she said about Sutton last night? That she's slithery. You just, she just makes you sick, basically, is what you were saying. I've never, the energy, I can feel the energy through the TV. That's how disgusting it is. That energy from y'all women is rubbing off on the viewers now. And this is, and this is a problem. And y'all made such a big deal about the fight that Monique had with Candace. They got physical and it still wasn't as bad as this right here. What these women do every single week to Sutton. If it's not Sutton, they're trying to get at Garcelle. It's, but they just, they just chew into Sutton left and right. I'm very happy that Garcelle had to let Erica know that we will not be friends. And she's perfectly okay with that. I'm happy Garcelle was direct and let her know. So don't expect none of this fake block. We just, we're not going to be friends. And I can't wait to see next week, actually, because they're still in Aspen. If Erica's going to try to give a Garcelle, after Garcelle's and made it clear and said, like, okay, we're not friends. I do know from the preview that Erica's coming after Crystal next week. And Kyle's going to say something to Erica. But that's next week. Let's, can, let's keep it focused on what happened tonight. Or last night, I should say. So I'm happy that Garcelle did this and let Erica know we, we won't be friends. No, thank you. Kyle, what kind of sister are you? Who hosts a getaway trip in your home? You're assigning the beds and you give your older sister a bunk bed. When you have these two comfortable beds up top that you gave to Dorit, I think, and Erica. Or Lisa and Erica, whoever the two were. Kathy had to sleep in a bunk bed. Kyle is so, she really, that nickname, Vile Kyle, is it sticks to her. That's not family. I'll be damned if my sister host the getaway, and I get a bunk bed? I'm, mm, and Mauricio, why couldn't you just grill the corn like your sister-in-law asked you to? What is up with the, what? I mean, I've never seen such awful treatment of people. Like, this is really beyond control right now. 
Bravo, y'all need to be ashamed of yourselves for knowing that this was going to air on this season. And these women are, aside from what we see on TV, it's the social media antics now. It's it's so ridiculous. I'm so I cannot stand the behavior of these grown bullies. Gang of bullies. A gang of bullies. That's what they are. A gang of bullies. Sutton, I need you to end it with Kyle. She starts all of the mess. She stirs the pot. She does it all. Every time the women are in a room, Kyle starts the conversation and just starts being messy. She did it at Dorit's party, or not party, but her um, charity event. Sutton specifically said, now's not the time and place to talk about it. And you know what Kyle did? Um, didn't pay her any mind and went on to say what she said, which forced Lisa to curse Sutton out. Diana, you had to sit down with Sutton before. Y'all couldn't even finish lunch before Sutton left. Couldn't even talk to her. Erica, you sitting here saying Sutton's a liability. Telling Garcelle not to be friends with Sutton. I mean, you can't all just sit and pile up on the same woman week after week after week after week. Now, when this whole um, situation started with Diana right here, saying what she had to say about Sutton, and why she doesn't trust her and doesn't like her because when she was bleeding and Sutton said, why don't you be home? Cause you were supposed to be on bed rest. What's wrong with that? If you're supposed to be on bed rest, why are you coming to a party? And then you come to the party, you came in throwing shade, acting like the party was beneath you. You didn't bring a proper gift. You gave Garcelle your damn book that she asked you about episodes ago that you didn't want to talk about, but yet you want to bring her that as a birthday gift? You had your boyfriend holding your bag because you were scared. And because Sutton said to you, basically, why are you here if you're supposed to be on bed rest? That's what she said. And you took offense to that. You're saying that Sutton's wrong. You're saying that Sutton is wrong for asking you, mentioning your miscarriage, when it's something you publicly brought to the show because it was in a group text. You talked about it, that's what you wanted to talk about. Just because Sutton didn't voluntarily let women that she's not friends with or close enough with know her business, how is it okay to shame her? You can't sit here and say you're being shamed and then shame in the process. That's the villain playing victim. Diana came to that party talking big and bad. You need a new villain. Here I am. She was talking a lot. And now you want to cry about it and say Sutton was wrong about it. Because she called you soulless. What's wrong with that? You called her, see you next Tuesday. That's what you called her. When Sutton called Diana soulless, Look, this is what Kyle did. Grabbed her up, pointed her finger in her face, told her, take that back. Don't say that. That's what she told her when she called her soulless. Sutton cried and was upset about Erica calling her, see you next Tuesday on the reunion. And was like, nobody had my back. And then Diana chimes in and says, oh, I agree. You are a see you next Tuesday. And Erica found it hilarious, hilarious. Look at Sutton's face. Look at Dorit's face. I'm tired of all of the gasping. How come people are not saying anything? None of them women sat and said, you know what, Diana, you went too far. You shouldn't have said that. The same way Kyle was in Sutton's face telling her she shouldn't have said what she said. It's obvious that these women are against Sutton and Garcelle. It's clearly obvious. Sutton's face the whole time. All she could do was cry. Now, if Sutton would have reacted and said something back to Diana, I can almost guarantee the women would have reacted to Sutton like, and just went off on Sutton. That's just what they would have done had Sutton said anything. 
So she sits there and cries. And what does Kyle do? Tell her she's being dramatic. Sutton, Di Kyle told Sutton she was being dramatic for crying because she was being made, called a see you next, see you next Tuesday. And being told she's like a snake. And Kyle told her she's being dramatic. I'm beyond sick of these women. To the point where I wanna hurry up and get through this video because it's awful and it's evil. It's awful and it's evil. To sit and think torturing someone like this is okay. Ganging up on somebody like this is okay. So after all of that nonsense happened, today, after the episode aired, last night, today, Lisa Renner wants to continue, continue the, the attack. And she sits here, Erica had posted something and left the comment. I don't care about her comment. Lisa Renna replies and says, oh, slutton, here's another LA Times article for you, honey. Called her slutton today. Left the comment and called Sutton slutton. They're not letting up, they don't care. Is Bravo doing anything about it? What's going on? Y'all gotta knock it off now. I'm 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 so ready to be done with this season so I can not watch it again. If these bullies come back. So remember Patrick Summers, the guy who's exposing Lisa Renna and his, you know, what he gets paid to do. He posted an email from the Wall Street Journal today and they're reaching out to him to, I guess, do an interview, which I hope he can do because I'm, I, want, I need to hear more. He has a lot of info. I want to know more about what his history with, with Renna is. So he posted this and he says, a a, oops, a tell-all of how me and Lisa met, photos, emails, and phone calls, and then the DMs, the biggest factual article to be written to date, so just wait. So he's doing an article, interview, whatever. I can't wait because I, I need to know what's, what happened. I just want to know what he has to say about Renna and everything. So I'm looking forward to that interview that he does, and I hope it comes out soon because we still, you know, definitely around the time of the reunion, it should be timed perfectly. So, guys, I had to cut this short. I didn't want to talk too much. I know I'm missing out on some things, but I just had to go through some key points because I'm honestly drained and I'm tired of talking, repeating the same story now every week when it comes to Sutton or Garcelle being attacked. If it's not one, it's the other. And that's about it. And Sheree, I caught you, Sheree, grinning when they were doing that to, um, to Sutton. I caught you. You're, on a lo you're going for the losing team, and this is why I know you're not fit to be on the show. All them other women stick together, like white on rice. They stick together. You coming on as Garcelle's friend, the first black housewife on Beverly Hills, on top of that, and you sitting here key can with the enemy. What kind of loyalty is this? That's not... Sheree, I can watch the show without you. She's another one. Even though she's not a part of the, the gang of bullies. Um, Next season, if there's no need for her, don't bring her back. I can go without seeing her. She don't need to come back. I'm, I'm not feeling Sheree. Sheree, Sheree, whatever. I'm, I'm not feeling her, okay? She can go. So, guys, leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about...
these women just terrorizing the hell out of Sutton. They want to break her. They want her to, to say, you know what? I'm not taking this no more. I'm, I'm quitting. I'm leaving. Sutton, don't you ever leave this show because of those women. So, guys, I'll talk to you again soon.